Salmon Run is an excellent addition to Splatoon 2. Even though the journey from an apprentice fish to a professional is long and the difficulty spike may end up leaving you salty, this new co-op multiplayer mode is incredible and pretty freshed out. The major goal of this new mode is to harvest these golden eggs which can be obtained from krilling the mini boss salmonids who come in a series of waves throughout the game. And as usual, some of these boss salmonids are real pain in the butts. So today we'll be counting down the top 10 hardest boss salmonids in Salmon Run. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The Scrapper is the easiest boss salmon did in Salmon Run, but that doesn't necessarily make him easy. His tactic is to rush straight at you and stops on a dime as soon as you start shooting him. The only time when these guys can be a real threat is when they rush at you in groups of more than one. If that happens, good luck swimming out alive. Steelhead is pretty rough to face alone, I squid you not. So you should make sure that you have your buddies helping you when he spawns. This boss salmonid grows ink bombs on the top of his head and throws them at you after a few seconds. And the only way to defeat him is to ink up the bombs before he throws them. The best strat for this boss is to Eli on your charger to take him out, and just hope that the squid playing the charger isn't too incompetent. The drizzler isn't easily that hard to defeat, but his ink storms are what really trip you up. This boss salmonid literally floats onto the battlefield and hides behind his metal until he fires off a missile which is when you can start taking him down. The missiles that the Drizzlers fire, however, stick around even after they're killed and continue to fill their arena with the enemy bank, which can really hamper your speed. The Steel Eel is big, slow, and actually a turtle jerk. The main part of the Steel Eel's body are invincible, and the driver of this vehicle so happens to be right on its tail, which is really inconvenient. If you get more than one of these boss salmonids in your base, then you're basically dead. So don't be squidding around when these boss salmonids show up. The Stinger is equipped with a Stingray, which, as all experienced players know, cuts through walls. The Stinger also targets one and only one player at a time, which can be really life-threatening when they're positioned far away. As long as you take these guys down right away, you'll do fine. Otter-wise, you're pretty screwed. Moaz is an even tougher boss, definitively when he takes you or salmon else by surprise. This boss salmon it hides in its ink and resurfaces out of ink only to try and chomp you and your teammates out of the sky. As long as you know that he's there, however, you should be good. Just remember to keep inking the ground when he's chasing you. The reason that I had to put Goldie, or whatever this boss salmon is called, so high is because it mainly appears in Salmon Rush, which is an extremely hard salmon run event. This boss is a much more difficult version of Chum because it has more health and moves extremely faster as a whale. As long as your team can group up and take them out together, however, you'll end up just thin. Flyfish is the most difficult out of the eight common boss salmonids as he can tertially annihilate the team from the sidelines. The flyfish likes to stay back and shoot tent missiles at you and your teammates, which wouldn't be so much of a problem if he was easy to take down. See, the only way to defeat flyfishes are to lob bombs into their missile barrages before they seal them up. Believe me, this is much, much harder than it sounds. The main enemy here is Inknorance, as this is one of the only boss salmonids that weren't covered in the training program. The mothership continuously drops low to salmonid, all while advancing on your egg tank and eventually sucking the eggs up. This is actually a really clever boss concept. But it's also pretty tough, as you can lose a lot of eggs if you aren't at your base by the time the mothership starts taking the big eggs. And finally, at number one on our list, the hardest boss salmonid that spawns in Salmon Run is the Griller. When you first see this boss salmonid, your first reaction may be, Oh my god, what the carp is that thing? Because yet again, this boss was not mentioned in the training program Mr. Grizz supplied. The Griller is basically flutters from the single player campaign, except that they're smaller and actually defeatable, but just really hard to defeat, since their tentacle is high up on the back of their body. It's especially difficult facing these guys when there's more than one. The Griller definitively has to be the hardest boss they need in Salmon Run at this time. Well guys, did you woo me this woo me? If you did, then woo me not like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me if I missed any boss salmonids that you think are difficult. Thank you for watching, and for Animal Gaming, over and out.
Hmm, I wonder where Mr. Grizz keeps all these eggs. He probably has an incubator, am I right? Good one, Patrick. 